Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for August 12th, 2019. The character of the defect and the modifiers are specialized. Start with five copies of a single card. Order, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the merchant. And binary, card rewards contain only two cards. Now with specialized and hoarder, we won't get just get five copies, we'll get 15 copies. So hopefully that'll be a good card, otherwise we'll uh, have some issues. Yeah, Sunder. 15 copies of Sunder, that might be a little overkill, wow. And we can't remove cards at the, um, at the rest side, at the um, merchant. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, with the hoarder modifier, we just want to gain as many cards as possible, get a bunch of collector bonuses, and also somewhat start diluting the amount of Sunders that we'll draw. Alright, so maximizing elites, I see two, three, four elite path. Yeah, one, four elite path, that's actually really good. And then we can also do an early shop there, a bunch of question marks early on. Really good path that way, let's do it. All right, actually, I wouldn't mind Sunders here, well, look at that. Just funny. Alright, easy kill there. Got a skill potion and um, recursion or streamline. Well, I have to remember, it's three copies of. Uh, I mean, streamline won't... We won't get the benefit from it since our deck is probably going to be so large that we won't come back to it. And recursion is not really that great if it's not upgraded. So I guess I'll go with streamline. Okay. Um, let's. Uh, I would like. You know what? I won't take any potions since I want to save it for the upcoming shop. All right. So here we'll just do one thunder, and then the second one should kill next turn. Does it? Yes. Okay. A liquid bronze and double energy or sweeping beam three copies of uh three copies of double energy wouldn't be a bad idea let's take it all right first shop here okay i good thing we didn't see uh might blast that that'll be a card that we definitely want to take i want three copies actually we should focus on defense so let's take three copies of steam barrier and i wonder if i should take three copies of doom and gloom one second. Uh, so let's take, yeah, I guess Doom and Gloom. Melter maybe. Doom and Gloom might be nice AoE. I'll take Doom and Gloom, sure. Okay. Not for the orb, just for the AoE. I mean, the orb wouldn't be that bad either. Alright, so unfortunately we can't uh, kill here. So Sunder's 24, that's not gonna be enough. Uh, let's just, well, let's do, well, hang on, we can also just do Defend. 24 four versus 16. Yeah, let's do defend and then 24. Okay. Take six damage here. Should be able to kill with another Sunder though. Alright, FTL Melter. Definitely FTL. We need some zero cost cards to uh, sort of switch it up a little bit. Let's do FTL once and twice. And then probably just a Sunder. Okay. Alright, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to perfect this one. We do have two steam barriers, that's so 12th block, and then uh, he'll be attacking for 18. Um, let's see what skill potion we get. Seek, rainbow, or white noise. Hmm. So with seek, we could get... Now, that's another skill. We can't get anything that allows us to kill. We get double energy. That still won't allow us to kill. Yeah, I can't think of a way to kill here. I guess we'll do rainbow? We'll give him um, strength, though, so that's a problem. 24. We're not that far off. But, I again, I don't think there is a way we can get him. Um, yeah, let's just do... Doom and Gloom. 19. Yeah, there's just nothing we can do there. Even if I, Well, we might as well defend, just to take less damage. But, um, unfortunately, we won't be able to perfect this one. Alright, we got single. When adding cards into your deck, you may raise your max XRP by two instead. I'm unfortunately I'm probably not gonna do that. Stack is gonna be amazing here, so I'll take it. And we have to go on the right to hit the other elite. Um okay, let's do FTL. Then double energy. Alright, and then probably just steam barrier. Yeah, we need more defense. I think that's our problem right now. We have uh, too many offensive cards. Very difficult for us out of 43 decks to draw the very few defensive cards that we have. Okay. Here we got, uh, yeah, I think three copies of Go For The Ice. Turbo might not be a bad idea either. Yeah, let's take Turbo, actually, because the Void will go in our discard pile, which we'll probably never see. Okay, the sentries. 
Um, we cannot defend here, right? No. Let's do Doom and Gloom. And then defend for a little bit. Yeah, perfecting elites on the first floor might be difficult, especially with our card choices. Alright, let's actually do Turbo. Then uh, Sunder you. And then defend and stack. Okay, fully defended here. Alright. Here we can do FTL 1, 2, and then 3. And then Sunder once and, tw and twice. Awesome. That bottle lightning up pick up, choose a skill search come with this card in your hand. Uh hmm. Vice cognition won't be amazing. I think we'll go with heat sinks because this can become a very good uh storm deck. Alright, I'm not actually hundred percent sure. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a double energy in our opening turn. Yeah, sure, why not? We can also upgrade it. Alright, we got tiny chest up big up, gain 30 gold. You are 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. And let's do one more question mark here. Alright, perfect. Ooh, too bad we can't afford the membership card. That's such a shame too. It would make everything else so much well. It would potentially help us maximizing our score. Anyway, let's take uh, three cup of steam bears. So we have a collector bonus for that. We'll take one for go for the ice. Uh, I don't think we had that, so no collector bonus there yet. Uh, we'll take beam cell, and I think that's fine for now. Yeah, that's a bummer about the uh, membership card there. All right, so well here we have two double energies, but we don't really need any of them. Just unfortunate in its own right. Okay, twelve incoming. Uh, we can do double energy, and then um, yeah, we're gonna take damage here, right? Twenty-five versus twenty-four. All right, streamline and doom and gloom does more damage overall than asunder. Okay, and then here we can go. Uh, another heat sinks or streamline. Let's take streamline for the um, collector bonus. Heat sinks would have worked too, but right here again, we don't need the double energy. Okay. Another fourteen. Uh, here we can actually go for the ice to weaken. So he's down to ten. Can we defend here fully. Steam barrier is twelve. Yeah, I don't think we can. Should be able to kill relatively easily, but yeah, we're losing one HP damage here. Um, and here we can kill fairly easily, I believe. Yeah, that's a shame. This one we didn't perfect by 1 HP. We got Strawberry up and pick up. Raise your max HP by 7. As well as the um, regen potion. And uh, we already have a full collective bonus for... I'm sorting by Z. Uh, we have a collective bonus for Steam Barrier, right? Um, there, yeah, so we don't need another one. So I'll take the Amplify. Not super useful just yet, but um, I'm sure we'll get a collective bonus out of it sooner or later. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. Might incentivize us for, to rest now. Alright, so double energy. Yeah, again, not enough. Fortunately, not enough. Uh, I'll drink the regen potion here. Uh, was that a mistake? No. Good. I wanted to make sure our final boss was with the hexa hexaghost. Uh, 24. Yeah, there's just nothing I can do to fully defend here. We're at 39. Yeah, if we had five energy, we could sunder and streamline. If the if we had upgraded that double energy, that would have that would have saved us maybe. All right, let's do probably just doom and gloom and streamline. I should have sundered and uh, defend actually, but fine. Let's actually do it this way because that way a sunder will kill next turn. Okay. Uh, all right, there's double energy. Could have done turbo first. I don't think we need it. All right, and then um, Dreamline and Strike. Okay. All right, uh, maybe I should wait here, actually, so that the um, Regen Potion heals up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, yes, we can defend with a stack, so I will. One more turn. This, these should be easy kills, especially since we have the Lightning Orbs and Sunders. Like so... Okay. All right, we got Happy Flower. Every three turns, get extra energy as well as a block potion, and I'll take a Beam Cell. That way, we get a collective bonus for that. All right, should I upgrade the double energy? No, let's gain uh, another card here. Ball Fighting Cool Headed would be fine. Okay. All right, so um, Beam Cell. Uh, yeah, we can do double energy. 
Actually, no, I guess that's not enough. Right, and then Sunder will get him to split, right? Do I want to delay the splitting? Yeah, let's delay the splitting a little bit. Okay. That way we can attack him next turn, too. Need to do 11 damage, which seems doable with a Sunder. Uh, yep, let's just do it. Okay. Right, so now we need defense, and this is where it gets difficult. Well, we have stacked. Uh, let's do turbo, then defend, then FTL. Uh, we can do beam cell. Mm, yes, no, no, we can't. Can't. I actually have to. Well, I guess we can do stack, then beam cell, and then sunder. Okay, that works. A good deal of damage, too. Next turn, we do have a block potion, but we need a little bit. All right, there is a defend. We can do double energy. Uh, let's throw the block potion on the defend, and actually, I don't think we can attack at all. Yeah, we're, we're barely fully defended. Okay, 20 incoming. Uh, let's do... Well, we don't need double energy here. And looks like we're not going to be able to kill... Or to get him to split either. Such a shame. Such a shame. Alright, we tried. I think... Yeah, we didn't perfect anything this far. Uh, we got close on one of the elites, but unfortunately that wasn't enough. Um, I'll do Zap. Let's get him to split. Okay. Nine incoming. Yeah. Well, we can amplify the heat sinks, I, I guess. Okay. And yeah, sure. We're not perfecting it anymore, so I don't care too much about losing HP at this point. Um, full headed. Beam cell. Defend. Okay. There are 20 incoming. We can do turbo. Cool headed. And then. Um, 44, yeah, we're fully defended here. Let's just do streamline, streamline stack. Okay. And then FTL. Let's just do Sunder here. And then here we can do Beam Cell. Um, Doom and Bloom. Strike. Yeah, too bad we didn't perfect this one. Alright, Core Surge or Amplify? Probably Core Surge. We would get a collective bonus for Amplify, but it's going to be a useless card. I would like Energy, but Runic Drone Dome is not very useful. Naros Box. Upon pickup, transform all Strike and Defense cards. Uh, and that would give us du duplicates, right? Yeah, we have four Strikes, four Defense. And we would get, uh, what is that? Eight times three, 24 cards back? Sure, let's do it. Alright, so we got Darkness, Chill, Doom and Gloom, Sunder. <laughs> More Sunders, oh god. Uh, bias Cognition Seek, Force Field, Chaos. Uh, these are fine. I think upgrading the Chill might be worth it. We'll get some Frost Orbs early on. Yep, 89 cards. Not bad. Okay, so. Let's see, we have one, two... We have a three Elite Path. Um, with only four question marks right before all the Elite starts. And we can choose to hit a shop. I wonder if maybe if we hit an early shot, we can get a Mind Blast, because that would be really powerful at this point. Alright, so we can double energy here to play two Sunders. We will lose 10 HP, and he will heal for 10 HP. But, um, that's another 10. Here we can do Chill, and then another Sunder. Okay. Another 12. Uh, we can do... Uh, what should we do here? I wouldn't mind ba to play. I wouldn't mind playing bias cognition. Let's do chaos. Okay, that's a dark orb, and then bias cognition, a steam barrier, go for the ice. All right. Okay. And here we can do another bias cognition. Yeah, let's do it. Turbo, thunder, and uh, stack. Okay. All right, and then thunder kills you. Right. Took some damage here. We got Essence of Steel as well as I believe we don't have a collector's bonus. We do have one for Beam Cell. Yeah, we don't have for FTL yet. Right? Uh, double energy FTL. Yeah, so FTL it is. Also, it's upgraded, which is nice. Um, I wouldn't mind the uh, three uh, curses. We need a total of five. All right. Uh, definitely don't want to lose all of my gold here. Also, I think this is a great fight for the uh, Sunners that we have so many of. Um, not a great start, though. Let's do... 
Oh, this is a really bad start. Um, I'll play Amplify, Amplify, go for the ice and defend. For a little bit of defense. Okay. Two decks. Uh, all right, so chill is great here. Is there anything I want to seek? Could seek another chill. Let's do FTL first. Um, actually, Sunder will kill this guy and we'll get our energy back. So let's work on this guy next. Okay, so let's do chill. Seek. And let's seek maybe something defensive. Another chill actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Good. Gives us a good amount of block. And then we can do Sunder to kill you. And then force field. Okay. Not sure we're going to be weakened this turn. And we have way more incoming. Alright, so um, we can do double energy. Fuel cast. Okay, and then we'll do one Sunder here. Another Sunder should kill the Frontliner next turn. We are taking 18 damage though. Alright, uh, let's do Beam Cell FTL. Okay. Uh, let's seek a Sunder actually. We should have enough of those. <laughs> Alright. And then we can do uh, Bias. Actually, yeah, Bias Condition and Doom and Gloom. Also give us enough defense. Okay. And here we can just do FTL, uh, Sunder, and Core Search. So rough fight. We got Red Mask as our reach combat. Apply one weak to all enemies. Very nice. And then we have enough go for the ice, right? Do I want to take a Chaos? Go for the ice. Oh, no, we don't actually. Let's get a Collector Bonus for go for the ice first. Chaos would have not been a bad idea, but... Ooh, tough decision here. I'm a little... Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's rest at the next rest site. So, we can lose some HP. What should we get, though? Colorless cards might be a good option. Alright, let's do it once. Enlightenment, okay. One more. Strike, not that great. Um, 16, 24, yeah. Discovery, I'll do one more. Or thought, okay. We didn't get anything great, unfortunately. And now we're down to 2 HP. Oof. Might be dangerous. Might be really dangerous. Might be really dangerous. Um... Yeah, I was really banking on this not being a fight. Uh, because I'm dead, I think. There's nothing I can do about it. 10, they, they're attacking for 14. I only have 10 defense and 2 HP. Uh, yeah. There's nothing I can do. What a shame, what a shame. Alright, I think this was a very disappointing <laughs> end to my run. So I'm gonna... Um, rerun everything and I'm gonna try to make the same decisions and then uh, with the exception that I won't take that much damage at that um, whoops I won't take that much damage at that event so um, I'll do that and I'll be right back All right, so I'm back. Uh, I went, uh, I did almost everything the same. The one difference is that I didn't get the Doom and Gloom that I had previously, and instead I was able to actually afford the membership card. Now this is actually cheating because the only reason I did that because I knew I didn't have enough gold for a membership card otherwise. So yeah, let's, I mean, this run is not gonna be official anyway, but I figured we'll try to maximize it. Uh, and then I picked up a few other cards because of this gold shortage. But anyway, so we're back at this question mark. And before it was the event that, um, I lost a lot of HP at, but now it's a different event. It's actually the event where you pick potions. Uh, so I guess yeah, I'll take an energy potion, which is the one I most need, and then probably can discard the look. Actually, no, let's keep it. Especially on this floor, it can be really useful. All right, and now this uh, this question mark is still a regular fight, so that didn't change. Um, okay, let's do double energy, uh, sunder, or uh, chill first. And then we can actually seek a sunder. Sundering twice is 48 damage. That's not a bad idea. Or is it here? Under once and twice. And then streamline, alright. Yeah, we'll we'll still rest at the next rest site, but I guess this way we don't lose HP, so um yeah, it worked out in the end. Alright, uh 
let's see leap or charge battery we don't have any of these so i'll take upgraded charge battery sure okay here we'll rest we'll grab uh i think now we'll grab turbo that way we'll get a collector bonus for that i believe okay so double energy ftl and then uh sunder and chaos okay. hmm, 19 incoming Let's do FTL to kill. And then go for the eyes. Uh, what should we seek? We could seek a... Yeah, let's actually seek a double damage. Um, wait, that won't kill though, right? Um, yeah, that won't kill. Uh, 48 plus 15 is uh, 63. Yeah, that definitely won't kill. Maybe I should get it stacked instead to defend. Yeah, let's try to preserve some HP. So, uh, where's the stacked? Sorted A to Z, right? No. This is, oh, this is not sorted. Okay. Let me just look for the stack real quick. Among all of these cards. There it is. Okay, so let's play the Sunder first. Then stack. Alright. Okay, and here another Seek. Uh, let's do Go for the S again. And then um, we need 59 damage, right? That's, well, we definitely don't have anything close to that. Uh, we could also weaken him. Seek a go for the ice again. Anything else I want to seek? Bill is probably not going to be super useful. Well, energy is not going to be super useful. Let's do with the go for the ice, I guess. Maybe another stack actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, let's do Doom and Lumen and stack. Okay. Alright, uh, here we can do FTL. Um, Steam Barrier. And then we can either Doom and Gloom or Amplify the Bias Cognition. So that'll be 12 focus. So 15 times 2, 30 damage. That would be enough to kill. All right, Amplify Bias Cognition. Bias Cognition. There it is. Okay. Uh, leap or Defragment? I wouldn't mind a Defragment. Uh, we already... I forget if we picked up a Leap. What is it? Uh, F3. No Leap. Okay. Yeah, let's do Defragment then. Powerful. Uh, well, power. Okay, this is a really bad start. Um, we are fully defended, though, luckily. Uh, let's do... We actually don't need double energy. Let's just do charge battery and sunder. Um, and I'll drink the liquid bronze here. This is why I was hanging on to it. Okay. 18 incoming. Let's do FTL. Go for the ice. Very nice. So now it's down to 12. Uh, steam barrier. Stack is enough. And then sunder. Okay. 21 incoming. Yeah, this one might be a little difficult to perfect or to defend against. Uh, let's just do Doom and Gloom and Dual Cast. Could have done Sunder. That would have dealt a bunch of damage. All right, 24 incoming. Um, yeah, here we either have to kill or or perfect uh, or um, or die. Um, let's do Chill. It's free. Um, what Chaos gives us. Actually, I wonder if I should seek a double damage, but no, no, that's not going to give us defense. Um, we could seek something that evokes the orb. Will be 12 damage. It's still not enough. 10 plus 12 is um, 22. We need 49. What do we seek? We have an energy potion that I'm willing to drink. Um, maybe something with one energy. Uh, actually, let's just seek a go for the ice. Yeah, just apply the weakness. Uh, where is it? There it is. Stag would have been probably the other good option. Yeah, I didn't think of that. Let's do Doom and Gloom. Throw the Energy Potion and then Streamline. Okay, he's going to die after three attacks, right? Yeah, fine. We'll take them. Okay. All right. Close. We have Blue Candle. Unplayable Curse cards can now be played. Whenever you play Curse, lose one HP and Exhausted, as well as a Strength Potion. And I don't have any of these, but I'll take Overclock, I guess. Again, the burn goes into our Discount part, which don't care too much about uh this is rough we only have four hp and we're not in the best position but i mean i'll try Plus, helix prevent the first time you lose hp each combat that's very good yeah this is this is gonna be a difficult fight um so double energy ftl i think here yeah, i have to drink everything because i'm not confident that i can survive beam cell thunder Darkness. I think we're dead still here, right? 
Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna try one more time. I, I am uh, very determined. I'll try one more time. I'll be back uh, in a second. All right, so we're back. I did mostly everything the same uh, as the last run. No major changes. Um, just played more intelligently, intelligently, and, and end up with uh, 17 HP. Still, this doesn't mean that we're completely out of the woods yet. Um, all right, so we can do beam cell thunder to kill this guy. But um, okay, so we're gonna lose our buffer on the decay. Okay, and then I obviously don't have depleted armor anymore. All right now we're down to three HP. And I think this is where we stop, right? All right, uh, so I think ultimately we're clearly not doing well. So I think what, what should have happened is I should have gone to more shops and I should have, instead of taking every single card, I should have been much more careful about which cards I take. Because, um, yeah, we have a lot of junk in here. I mean, we have uh, some power synergies without really having any powers. Um, and yeah, I think that was our biggest mistake. I think I was trying to really just go for maximizing the score and in the end that just cost us. And uh, I mean, I played it three times in the same approach. And I mean, obviously if I change my approach a little bit, um, we would finish, uh, but you know, we would also not really get a high score. So I think I'll, I'll stop here. Um, unfortunately, sometimes these runs happen. Uh, let me briefly review the scores. If I had gotten an early uh, Mind Blast somewhere, I mean, we would have been off. Yeah, so you can definitely hit 1400. Um, well, it's doable to hit that. Some extremes here, probably with a lot of collector bonuses. So, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get there. But, um, oh well, sometimes that happens too. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, I won't be able to sleep at night if I don't do this. So I'm just going to speed it up and uh, try to change my strategy a little bit. And uh, I'll be back with a recap at the end.
Alright, so I got to the end, um, right after the game crashed too. Uh, there were some differences. So, first of all, um, the events were different. I actually got the Necronomicon, which made everything so much easier. Ne Necronomicon is the first attack played each turn that costs two or more, as played twice. I can pick up and obtain a special curse, so that way the Sunder was double played every single time. So instead of 24 damage, it's 48 damage, which is really impressive. And that allow us, allowed us to actually survive up until the third floor. Uh, now, unfortunately, I didn't get a single Mind Blast. I tried a lot. I, I, there was an event where we got three colorless cards offered, and I tried all of them. Um, I did get a Apotheosis. Uh, it's somewhere in here. And then, um, yeah, I also have Boot Sequence in my opening hand, just to make sure that I uh, can always defend. I picked up my favorite the colorless cards, Panic Button. And then, uh, yeah, so lots of lots of different cards, but we finally got to the end. So that was that was my goal. All right, let's see how this goes. Uh, we can do Flash of Steel. All right, Apotheosis early on. That's actually really, really good. And then we can fully defend. All right. Now all of our cards are upgraded, which is very nice. Okay, so uh, let's start out with two, with, uh, well, one Jack of All Trades. We have Discovery here and Thinking Ahead. Uh, we should do Auto Shields. Uh, or should we just do Equilibrium? We have 26 incoming. I should also drink this. Um, let's do auto shields, and I think rather than double playing or playing Sunder twice, I'll do Equilibrium here. Yeah, we'll hold the Sunder for next turn. Uh, let's see what Discovery gives us. That's probably going to be a Capacitor. And then uh, let's draw something and put this back. And I guess we can also do the uh, Rip and Tear. Why not? Alright. Okay, another 26 incoming. We do have Dark Shackles here. Uh, let's do go for the Ice. And then, um, yeah, so here you can see the Sunder being double played. Yep, next to Necronomicon. That, that's just really amazing. Makes everything else so much easier. We can do Darkness. Uh, we have 26 incoming, so let's do uh, Steam Barrier and then Stack. Okay, we're fully defended. Also do Dark Shackle, just, we don't need it. I'll just make sure that this guy doesn't have Artifact anymore. All right, um, so we'll do go for the ice FTL. Uh, chill, very nice. And then I'm actually thinking, so we have 24 incoming. Uh, you know what, let's just seek a stack. Make sure that we're um, fully defended. Where is it? Yeah, we have a lot of cards, 167. I was really, really hoping to get a, um, oh, we can seek two cards. Uh, so then let's seek a zero cost chill maybe? Yeah, let's do it. Um, can't think of another zero cost card that we wanna seek. Yeah, that will evoke the 30 Dark Orb, which is not bad. Uh, Alright, so double play Sunder here. And um, chill. And stack. Okay. Alright, another 32. Um, so here we can do go for the ice, then Dark Shackles. Okay, so now we're fully defended. Uh, I don't think I'll need another uh, chill though. Yep, we're good. Okay. Uh, what is that? 38 incoming now. Uh, so this is 64 damage. We're just a little bit shy. And then Sweeping Beam. Uh, it's very close though. Uh, let's actually do the following. Let's get a double energy. Here. Oh, right. Two cards. I always forget. And then Dooming Why not? Alright, so then play double energy. Then double ta or double play the Sunder here. Okay. Then a Sweeping Beam. Okay, then we can Doom and Gloom. That way we can evoke the Dark Orb on this guy too. And then we'll do Equilibrium to uh, hang on the Cool Head for next turn. Okay, another 38. Uh, here, Bias Condition will pretty much keep us safe, right? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do Bias. Actually, you know what? Just to make sure we don't get the negative of the Bias Condition. Oh, actually, I don't think we have the card that gives us Artifact Armor. Yeah, I think that's one of the differences I made between this run and the previous one. I didn't take that card. All right, fine. So let's take instead a, um, I'll take turbo and then another, wait, do I have? Yeah, let's take a uh, Sunder here. Okay. So we can do turbo, auto shields, basket ignition. Okay, so we have enough defense now. And then double play the Sunder, cool headed, um, chaos. Okay, and then claw. All right. 
Okay, and then here we can double play the streamline for more damage. And then Doom Bloom. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we just need to evoke the front orb, which should be fine. Oh, never mind, there's another Dark Shackle, it's very nice. Okay, Darkness. Full headed. And Thunder. Alright, we actually perfected the last fight too. Yeah, this is I just I just got mad that I couldn't I couldn't w win against this one, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. All right, so we didn't maximize elites, so that was the problem. We got um, we only fought uh, eight elites total, and I believe we maximized elites here uh, and here. Yeah, the, we we missed one elite on the first floor, so that's an, uh, ten points less. We only perfected one of them. Actually, it was one on the first floor. I just got lucky with the um, with the draw, and then yeah, we perfected the last boss. Uh, we got curses. That was easy, well fed, uh, because I was refusing some cards actually and uh, taking the or using the singing bowl. Um, everywhere we've gotten into Covidian, we got 12 collector bonuses. That was, I think, the reason we got s such high of a score. But yeah, 1329, and this is without perfecting any, uh, or sorry, without, yeah, without, pretty much without perfecting anything. Uh, one out of, uh, what was it, seven elites and, uh, one out of three bosses. Um, but yeah, so at least, at least we won. I think that was, that was valuable to do. So, thanks for watching. Bye.